championship, the last Razor was <laughs> UConn is that you guys can all be there so um, it's uh, gonna be a great experience um, you know I, since 2002 um, I promised myself that I would never again be just happy to be there you know we were just happy in 2002 to be there when we were the 16th seed against Oklahoma and uh, even through the year that we had I can still say that I expected this all along, and I think there's a difference between being happy for the opportunity to play in the NCAA tournament and just being happy to be there. And I'm really proud to coach a group of girls that believes in anything, and I know that come Sunday at noon, they're gonna give their best shot and hopefully be ha try to be the hardest team that UConn's had to beat in three years. <laughs> so, um, Welcome to the NCAA Women's Championship presented on ESPN by Capital One. An irradiant day in Storrs, Connecticut, as one of the brightest stars in women's college basketball begins defense of its national championship. Number one, UConn, taking on number 16 seed, Hartford. Let's take a look at the brackets in this Philadelphia region. UConn taking on Hartford in this one, our next game featuring Kansas State and Purdue. Georgetown in Princeton, Maryland and St. Francis on the other side of the bracket. Mark Jones along with Doris Burke, and let's take a look at our Star Watch, Doris. Well, the emergence of the sophomore class has been integral for the Hartford Hawks. Alex Hall, because of her defensive efforts, was the most outstanding player of their championship. Well, today she draws the nation's best player in Maya Moore, who begins her quest for a three-peat, one of the most accomplished players in the history of women's basketball. A yeah, real impressive resume, and time now to look at today's Capital One starting lineups. And first of all, for Hartford, you talked about the sophomores. They start four of them in all. Ironically, their leading scorer coming off the bench, Mary Sylvia. Meanwhile, for Connecticut, coming in at 32-1, and one, UConn actually hasn't played in almost two weeks. That's going to be one of the interesting storylines here early in this ballgame as we look at the starting five. UConn with three different players that average in double figures. Huskies 11-0 all time against the school from Crosstown as Huskies win the tip, they're in their white, Hartford wearing their red uniforms, and right away, Stephanie Dolson with a bucket underneath. Now one of the most impressive things about Connecticut, watching them play their ball movement, leading to quality shots. A bit of token three-court pressure by the Huskies as Jackie Smith out top calls out the play. Connecticut in a man defense. Duwati on the baseline knocks down the jumper. She averages about seven and a half points a game. Yeah, and I think one of the things Jen Rosati stressed to her team yesterday, let's take the first good shot we get. Great shots might not be possible. Aya Moore had it knocked away. Discretion then, a big part of 
their ultimate success or not today, especially at the offensive end doors? Yeah, correct. There's no question. I think anytime you get isolation and get a good shot, which that is a good shot. We'll step back. That is her game. That's an okay shot. Wadi up. Jumper off the screen and a nice soft touch by Mary Sylvia, who's the team's leading scorer coming off the bench. Interesting dynamic there, Doris. I cursed them. I did everything, and they never gave up. A little frustration there on that yeah. open jump shot. Yeah, she's done one of her better coaching jobs in her 11 seasons at Hartford. She talked about the turning point being that Stony Brook game. But uh, let's take one more look at that last sequence. A season recap for the Hartford Hawks. Uh, it took the freshmen, she says, time to realize that they were going to have to do a lot of the heavy lifting. And at 1-9, and nine, they turned it around a little bit, had separate uh, winning streaks. They'd won eight consecutive games after that inauspicious beginning. And coming into this one tonight, they'd won 11 of 12. Well, again, you know, you can you can do certain things as a coach, but whether or not your players respond, she said the one oh, nice there. Feed. Yeah, another answer. Good hands by Dolson. She couldn't complete it. Here's Hall, and Hall knocks it down. That's her first two. Rounding in the form this year. That's a feel right there. She's sim simply using her backside to sense <laughs> defenders. Another jumper good by Alex Hall. He's got five. Yeah, I mean, you can see that the sophomores, are, you know, the, the history or the future of this program, because Jen Rosado's got a very solid five-man class next year. Two years from now in the NCAA tournament, look out for Hartford. Uh, Hall was the most outstanding player in the America East Conference tournament. Uh, just on point and on the money. And I, you know, I thought in the first half, there were a couple chances that they missed Maya. She had great post position. Smith. And Smith knocks it down. Nakia Smith. And Johnson this time couldn't finish it. Becky Smith calling out the play out top. Nice look inside to Nakia Smith. Good kick out and good offense that time by If you have early round games like this and you're Gino Oriema, how much are you resting your starters in games like this? Have two years from now, as you take a look at the bottom side of our bracket, Kansas State Purdue. I think Jen Rosati, with, with the, the class coming in next year, when this group of sophomores is seniors and the, the, the class coming in is sophomores, that might be a year where you see Hartford make a pretty good run into the NCAA tournament. Ball tipped out of bounds off of Johnson. It'll stay Hartford basketball. But this is one of those games as a coach where that last 5-17 can't tick off any faster. Yeah. This is where I'd go to my Dean Smith four-corner offense, spread it, and yeah. <laughs> use all 35 seconds. Duati off the mark, got her own rebound back. Hall banks it home. Hey, what's the headband saying now? <laughs> wow. <laughs> off the window. <laughs> UConn with its 10th turnover the ball game. to the wrong person. Two on one coming back the other way for the Hawks. Wow. And Weaver hits the pull up. That's her first bucket. That could have been an N1. First Did national you championship with. You, you know, you have to play somebody, obviously. But it's not, uh, not ideal that you're playing your former player. Off of England's miss. Sylvia coming back the other way. Sylvia, another one of those seniors playing in her final game for the Hawks. Jumper from outside, and it's good. And Amanda Weaver, she's got four. No time to go. 
Mary Sylvia coming out of the ball game. The senior subbing out for the final time and sharing a moment with her coaching staff, including head coach Jen Rosati.